Does your ultraviolet disinfection system keep on beeping even after you replace the lamp? Well, check out this video to learn why. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I own Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland. On this channel, we spend lots of time talking about water treatment, everything about how systems work, how to install them, how to maintain them, so you can make some great decisions about water treatment for your family. If this is your first visit to our channel, welcome. You may consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner of your screen. That'll take you right to our channel. You'll see hundreds of water treatment videos there on all different topics. I'd also like to encourage you to watch this video right to the end. I'll have a link to my playlist on ultraviolet disinfection systems. Again, lots of great information there. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. So what's causing all this beeping? Well, the unit's in alarm. There's something wrong. So there could be one of seven things that's uh, causing this. So the first one is the lamp. As I mentioned earlier, uh, the lamp does need to be replaced. These units, one thing that they have in common, whether it's the v core, it's the Exolite, or the UV Dynamics, is the lamp is good for 9,000 hours, or about 365 days. So as you get close to that time frame, these units start to beep to remind you that it's time to replace that lamp. So go ahead and replace that lamp. That's the first thing. The second thing is you need to re uh, reset the timer, because the unit doesn't know that you've replaced the lamp until you reset the timer. So there's different procedures for pretty much all of these. So if you check that playlist I mentioned earlier, at the end of this video, it'll take you to a whole bunch of my videos that show you how to replace it for each of the different uh, brands. So is it a monitored system? Some of these systems have a sensor on the side, um, and what that does, it monitors the quality of the water passing through. If there's any color in the water, or if there's a lot of sand in the water, and that kind of thing, it'll set off that sensor. So check your water quality, but also make sure that when you replace that lamp, you also clean that sensor. So. Uh, egg, you just use CLR or something like that on the sensor window and clean that up. So the next thing you need to check is, was there a recent power failure? We've been getting some calls about uh, after the power comes back on, after a power failure, that uh, some of the ballasts like this one here uh, tend to start going into alarm. So what you can do, you can unplug it, plug it back in, press the reset button, and, uh, and often that'll get rid of that, uh, the beeping caused from that power failure. UV Dynamics, it's also a similar situation, so you can do the same uh, with those. So um, another thing you need to check is the ballast, especially with the UV Dynamics and some of the older Exolite systems. They have to be in alarm mode before you can reset the timer. And uh, I'll show you how to put it into alarm mode in just one second. To put it into alarm, the first thing you need to do is unplug the unit. And then you need to remove the lamp. So just be careful, the lamp will be quite hot, so you can use a cloth or something like that to grab it. Use that off. Pull the lamp right out. And once it's out, then you need to plug it back in with no lamp in it. And what that's going to do is going to put it into alarm. Okay, so you can see it flashing here that it is in alarm mode. Once it's in alarm mode, unplug it again. Put the new lamp back in. There it goes, it should seat it all the way down. New lamp is in, and then follow the reset procedure by holding down the button, plugging it in. You hear a long beep, and three short beeps. And if you hold a little bit longer and let go, what you'll see is that this lamp here will flash red 12 times. And what that does, it tells you that it's going to they have 12 months of life left on this lamp, and it uh, tells you um, that it's been reset. So it could also be a defective lamp. So electrically, other than the sensor, there's only two components, and that is the baluster controller and the lamp. So if the lamp fails for some reason, maybe it's a, a defective lamp. So you have to check that out. So one of the ways you can check is um, if you put in another lamp, obviously a new one, then that would tell you. If you just put it in and it's a brand new lamp and you think the brand new lamp might be defective, swap out in the old lamp that you took out and see what happens. So, and if you swap out that um, old lamp 
and it still is beeping, then it's probably the controller. So the controller may very well be defective. They do have a life expectancy, usually about uh, five to seven years, something like that, and that very well may need to be replaced. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. For some more information, you go to our websites, either watereastore.com or waterstoremidland.com. And that playlist I mentioned earlier about ultraviolet disinfection, it's right up here. Just click on it. Lots of great information. Ch definitely want to check it out. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy. Thanks for watching.